Hi, this is Daniel Pax from Red Hat. And today I wanted to share with you a demo about OpenShift API for data protection. The main goal of OEDP is offering granular backups and restores for our OpenShift applications. In the demo that we're going to show today, we're going to deploy a Pacman application that has a MongoDB database running for persistence. We will simulate a full failure of the OpenShift nodes. We will then redeploy our OCP cluster. And finally, we will restore our Pacman application, checking that the persistence for our MongoDB database is still there and available after the restore. So just to give you a little bit of context, we are running OCP version 4.11 as a storage provider we have deployed OpenShift Data Foundation, but any CSI compatible driver can work with OEDP without any problem. Regarding our Pacman application, it has two pods, one MongoDB database that is using 8 gig persistent volume from the Ceph RBD storage class. This application has a route for external access to the front end. So this is our Pacman application. We have already played a couple of games. So we have some high scores here saved. And the idea is that once we have a full failure of our cluster that we're going to simulate and we restore the Pacman applications, these high scores will still be available as they are saved on the persistent volume inside the MongoDB database. So going back to the terminal, we have already deployed the OEDP operator and also the VolSync operator that is needed for the data mover feature that is new in OEDP version 1.1 and it will be available in this release as a tech preview. The data mover is going to allow us to uh, move the content of our backups to an external resource so we can tolerate the full failure of the OCP cluster where the backup has been taken. Like with any other operator, we have to configure the operand. It's called DPA or Data Protection Application, and we're going to output in YAML the configuration. In backup locations, we see this reference to Velero. OEDP uses the Velero Upstream project for cluster aware APIs. And then we are using as our OEDP backup target an AWS S3 bucket. But we could use any other S3 compatible endpoint, like for example, ODF, Radius Gateway on premises, or any other object storage from a cloud provider. We are also enabling the CSI plugin, so OEDP can leverage and take advantage of the CSI as snapshots and clones provided by the CSI drivers. And finally, we are enabling the new data mover feature. Once we have created our DPA that's ready, ready and configured, we can go ahead and schedule a backup for our Pacman application. You can use the Velero CLI. If you don't want to download the client, you can also use this alias by which we exec into the Velero pod. And then there we have the Velero CLI available for us. That's one way of uh, configuring and running a backup. Or you can also use declarative YAML files um, using the OC command. In this demo, we are going to use the OC create command with this YAML file. Here you can see that the object kind is a schedule with um, Belero. We have a basic scheduler that we can use. It's very similar to a cron job schedule where we have configured here that every hour we are going to take backup of the Pacman namespace using the storage location that we configured in our DPA. So it's going to save um, the backup into our AWS S3 bucket. And we have a time to leave set to 720 hours. Once this time to leave expires, 
the backup will be deleted from OADP. So now we are going to go ahead and create the backup schedule for our Pacman application. If we do OC get schedule, just to check that it has been created. So now we can see here that our backup has started. We can also do a describe of our backup to check the status. We can see here that the phase is in progress and that it currently has backed up 46 items out of 120 that are available on the namespace. So right now we just have to wait for the phase to go into the completed state. So if we check again with OC Describe, the phase now is completed. So our backup has finished successfully. We could check the same information with the Valero CLI where we have the backup completed with no errors or warnings. So now we can move forward. I'm going to delete off camera for the sake of time my full OCP cluster and I will get back to you once I have the new OCP cluster deployed. So we have a fresh deployment of OpenShift ready. We have installed the OEDP and Bolsync operators. But as you can check at the moment, we have no operand. We have no backups available. And also the Pacman application is not deployed on this new or fresh cluster that we have. What we are going to do is create the DPA object with the same configuration that we had in the previous cluster. And once the object is created, it's going to go to our backup location that in this deployment is an AWS S3 bucket. It's going to check the backup information that we have in that OEDP store bucket that we have configured and it will make available those backups for this new cluster. So let's go ahead and create the DPA using OC create. So once all of our DPA pods are running, our backup for the Pacman application should be available as you can see here. So now we can go ahead and start a restore of the Pacman application. So we're going to create a restore object. We are going to use a YAML file. The contents of the YAML file, we are selecting a backup name. That is the name of the backup that we want to restore. So now we can go ahead and do an OC create of this restore object. We can see that we have now a new restore object. And in the same way as with the backups, we can do an OC describe of our restore and we can see the status in which it is now. So right now the phase is in progress and we have to wait until it goes into the completed state. So let's check if the restore has completed. It's now in the completed phase, so it has finished successfully. Let's go into the Pacman namespace. We have two pods. Let's check the persistent volume claim. It's also back with eight gigs in size. So now let's check if our application is available. I'm going to refresh the browser. So our Pacman app is up and running again. Let's see if the high scores are still there and we still have the high scores available. So that confirms that our Pacman application has been restored successfully including the persistent volume that the MongoDB database was using for persistent. Thank you for your time.